Hey what's going on guys it's Rich and welcome to a gameplay in Hijacked again. I do apologise for uploading two Hijacked gameplays in a row but I'm sure you will forgive me. Let me give you a little bit of a, of a backdrop on what's happening in this gameplay. Basically I'm playing with Ali A and I've been playing with Ali a load over the past maybe two or three weeks because uh, we play very similar games. We both prefer 6v6 to 9v9. We both like to run non-lethal killstreaks to help each other out and I think we just our, our game plan is just to win, get those non-lethal kill streaks in, and hopefully get some nice gun streaks in it. It just really complements each other when we play together like that. So uh, I've been playing with Ali loads. It's been a load of fun, and in this gameplay, it's just me and him with some, you know, less than average teammates, I'll say. And we got joined in late on the first round. You saw uh, at the start of the gameplay, I made sure you could see the scoreboard. I was only 20 and 10. I was rushing the B flag, and even though I didn't have any captures, it's because I kept dying on the B flag. If you've watched any of my streams, you'll know that my First priority whilst playing Call of Duty is to go for the win. I like to win the games, I like to capture the flags, and that isn't reflected in my win loss ratio, which is negative. It's like 0.6 or something, uh, just because I play solo a lot, or at least I did. And when you play solo, you're kind of like a thinning player. You're joining games late. If someone is getting the D, let's say uh, me and you know a party of four of the guys are running a 6v6 lobby. Uh, I don't know why I didn't say five other guys because that would have made more sense. But let's say me and a party are playing 6v6, we're handing out Ds for free. We're not even charging, we're just we're nice guys that way. And then, you know, people on the other team leave, someone leaves because they're getting destroyed. You will be joined into that lobby if you're playing solo. You're like a thinning player. So when you're a solo player, you'll get joined into these games that are completely unwinnable. You can't really change anything, you're getting spawn trapped. And that's why my win-loss ratio has been bad since Black Ops 1. Uh, in Black Ops 1, I think it was like a, a, a 2 maybe, maybe a 1.3 or something like that. I know it was positive, I'm pretty sure it was positive. I love how I've gone from, you know, it's a 2 win loss ratio, which is a good stat, and then I went all the way down to a 1.3, and now I'm like, I, I think it's positive, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I think my win loss was positive in Black Ops uh, 1, and uh, coming into like Modern Warfare 3, I like to play solo a lot, and then I just left games where my team was just completely awful, and I'd have to... Uh, you know, frustratingly die on the B flag over and over again, and it helps so much just to have one other competent player on your team that can get you those non lethal kill streaks that help out everyone on the team, help set, uh, set up some map control, and help you win some games. And it's a lot more fun playing that way. So, if you're a predominantly solo player, I would highly suggest doing that. So, anyway, as I was saying, this gameplay we joined in late, our team were losing, and we were like, we went into the second half and we took and we looked at the second half as an opportunity to go in and capture that B flag as early as possible and I had a really bad start to the second half, I think I died twice in a row and then I just thought to myself, you know, it's it's completely useless uh, trying to fight them on the B flag if I can go into their spawn or, you know, disrupt their spawn just for a couple of seconds uh, hopefully a teammate or two will run onto the flag, so I think I told Ali I said, Ali, you stay the B flag, if I can just get in their spawn, kill a few people it's only going to take, you know, five seconds if another person helps you on the flag to capture it and then hopefully then we can build up our kill streaks and set up some kind of control. So uh, it managed that way. You know it, that's exactly what happened. We both got our streaks, which were the UAV, the orbital VSAT, and the EMP. And although I only dropped like 40 kills this game, I honestly don't care about the numbers anymore. I honestly just look at my gameplays as how enjoyable are they to watch. And I thought that this one was kind of fun. It shows you like the struggle uh, of trying to get map control and how you can do it on certain maps. And Hijacked is one of those mods where. It's very difficult to set it up, but there are a few little tactics that you can use. Uh, one of them, which is what I've already stated, is where you can run up to their spawn flag and uh, go upstairs, and you know you'll be able to kill a few people. You'll draw in a load of attention, and hopefully a teammate um, will be able to sneak in on the B flag, pick up the capture, and you'll be able to work from there. And uh, if if things aren't going your way on hijacked, they really do not go your way. If a, a few Compton players on the other team are you know doing what they should be doing, if they've got like guardians on and you know county UAVs and EMP grenades and stuff like that it is very difficult to leave the spawn and I think this video kind of showcases how you can do it if you're in that situation so uh, hopefully you enjoy the gameplay I would honestly love to hear your opinion on how I'm trying to change my gameplay standards a little bit I'd rather not focus on the numbers I don't want to be like you know I got 106 to 1 or whatever although I would definitely upload a gameplay like that because it would probably be, un probably be enjoyable and I don't upload them every single day. I'm trying to make it more, as I said, you know, enjoyable, uh, where you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know how much score I'm going to get, and where, you know, an average kind of game where you go into, look at that, by the way, getting friggin' no scoped by a split screener called SM Piero, whatever his name was. You know he's French, you just know it, and it, it angers me to get no scoped by a French split screener. It nearly killed me. 
Okay, so that is coming up to the end of the gameplay, by the way, guys. If you could leave your opinions on what I was talking about this gameplay or this video in the comment section below uh, in regards to how you would prefer, you know, high scoring gameplays, which I can get. I got like a, a really nice gameplay earlier on on 6v6 raid that I would love to post, I think, either tomorrow or the next day. And uh, that should be fun. So hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, we played the objective. We both got 50. Uh, plus kills which was pretty cool and we managed to pull out the win for our team so yeah if you did enjoy it leave a like rating i'll speak to you all tomorrow with two videos i promise and uh, i may have dropped myself in there i don't know but it should be two videos see you then guys thanks for watching bye